the official first day of winter? Yes, it is. At 11.28. Doesn't come in until 11.28 officially, but we're <laughs> going to go ahead and say it. You may recognize this fellow. This is Travis Hill with uh, One Hour Heating and Air, and we're here to talk about something that a lot of people will probably be talking about if you haven't already, and that's making sure... Well, with winter time being here, that you have your heating system checked. Travis, good to have you with us here today. Thank you. It's good to be here. Do most people have their heating systems or their air conditioning systems checked at the right time? And when I say right time, I mean not when it's broken down. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we, a lot of people do. Uh, we do have a lot of those who wait and then we're, we're out there on an emergency in the holiday season uh, working on it when it, it actually takes that, that nice cold dip. You know. um, so not everyone gets it checked at the right time. But you do need to get it checked and tell me why I need to get it checked. Why can't I just keep going and going and going? Well, the biggest reason is make sure your, your system's operating to its, its peak efficiency during the season. Um, make sure we're keeping it clean and it's running because the, the, the dirtier it gets, the harder it works, the more likely it's going to break down, in that, especially in the extreme weather. What's the number one reason, though, a system will break down? The number one reason is dirt and dust. Hmm. Really, dirt and dust, and where does it, does it, what about filters, though? Do, does that not keep that from happening? It does. It, 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 it's going to keep a, a large percentage of it, but a lot of times people use some of the cheaper grade filters, and it's going to, it's, it's, a lot of things are going to pass through it that we, we don't want to get through it. Um, so to keep that system maintained and cleaned, you should have that blower compartment cleaned every six months and, and really thoroughly going through uh, to make sure anything that's getting through those filters, unless you have an upgraded filter system, we get that out of there mm -hmm. to make sure that system's operating. So what should be the average lifetime of a since it's winter time, we're talking mm -hmm. heating here. What should be the what's the average lifetime of a heating in this, system? In this market, you're talking uh, anywhere from ten to ten to fifteen years mm -hmm. on a heating system. Mm -hmm. And how often should you have that checked? Is it every year, even once it's new, or whatever? Or how soon should you have it checked once you have a new system in? After you get a new system, we recommend after that first year to make sure you have it have it uh, maintenance to every 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 year mm -hmm. we recommend mm -hmm. having it done a lot of people I go to the stores now and I see all these new uh, thermometers these new gauges that run the system and all what about that what about the gauges that you use for the system here how important is it to have the right kind it's it's really important especially having all the all the new technology is great you got your mobile phone that you can control your heating and air from now uh, but the programmable thermostats are excellent especially from the, the the standpoint of saving money and running efficiently when you're not occupying the home you don't need it to be 74 degrees if mm -hmm. that's what you like it on you want to lower that down to 68 and as you're coming home it can climb back up to your temperature especially in this market with our heating systems you can get it to where you want it a lot quicker mm. all so. right travis hill one hour heating and air you, you all have a website we do it's a one hour ac charlotte.com there you go check in with them make sure you're because i tell you what if it breaks down and you've got to repair it or replace it we're talking some money travis hill thank you so thank much you. for being here now stay with us because i think chris is going to be in the kitchen 